What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we have top 10 investments. I'm waiting for the auction to crash. It's not looking too good. So that's number one. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub. Let's get 150 likes in this video. Let's continue that streak. And also, man, drop the sub because we're close to 10K. At 10K, we're going to do a ton of MT giveaways on Twitter at your bugs. So make sure to follow my Twitter at your bugs. About to hit like 1,200 uh, followers on there. And also, we're selling MT, so hit me up for MT. But yeah, let's go over it. Let's go over the top investments right now. And honestly, most of them have to do with packs. We're going to go over the investments. Here we go. So investments are an art of MT. That's the way I see it. Literally, they're so OP. So we're going to start off with this investment right here. Coutinho Mobley. Why is this a freaking insane investment? I'm going to tell you why. Simply. First off, diamonds always hold their value for 4K, correct? So his value's at 3,400. He's under 4K. If he goes to 4K, if you get him for 3K, you're going to make 700 MT off the investment. That's only 4,000 MT. That's if he goes to 4K. I think he has a chance to go to 5. You just might have to wait a little bit because if the more you wait, bro, the longer and the better the investment will get. Like this guy, Coutinho Mowgli, will probably not be in packs for a really long time because he's only the second prime set. If you guys do know, they do drop Prime Super Packs, but that's far, far away from coming. We probably have another two Prime content drops to come before we do get Super Packs. So I'm going to say this right now, man. Coutinho Mobley is definitely a really, really good investment. We're going to get into the next one, man. Nick Young, bro. This card's in packs pretty much, bro. Whatever's in packs and is a low tier is a great investment. That's all I'm going to say. That's how investments work. That's how you make the most MT. This Nick Young card is deadly, bro. I'm sweating. I'm in New York right now, bro. Why well, I, I live in New York, but dude, it is so hot today. It's 70 degrees. I'm dying. It is so freaking hot. And honestly, I just tested pot. I just tested clean for the coronavirus. If you guys do know, I did have it. And uh, yeah, I no longer have it. Thank God. Cause F that bro. The coronavirus is so ass, bro. It literally is so ass. If you get, if you got it, let me know. Oh, that's a good one. That's missed. Oh, we got that one. So as you can see, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wow. Okay. So as you can see, this investment is not only good. This investment is so good for sniping as well. Like, I just got all those snipes. If he goes up to 5K, I'm going to make a lot of NT. I say he goes up to 4K because this car is amazing. Not only that, bro, HDB, DVG, they drop vids on this card. And if they drop anything, any vids, they're big in the community. So pretty much, bro, whatever card drops, if, 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 DBJ, if DBG drops any cards as well, if you uh, you should have DBG's noties on because if he drops any cards that are good and cheap, you want to get them right away. If he drops like this card is insane, 5k MT, you go to the auction and you buy every single one you see because they go up double every single time. You guys remember Javon Carter investment, bro. He was 2k. He was like up to freaking 13k. I picked one up for three and I sold him for 13k literally 20 minutes later. So you always want to pay attention to DBG. Next investment. Now, pink diamonds are really good investments as well because pink diamonds hold value. Eddie Curry, man, if you guys got Eddie Curry on the investments, you made so much MT. I literally, in my video, he was 60,000 MT. Eddie Curry was 60K. He's up to 100,000 something. So, insanity. Insanity. So, yeah, Eddie Curry, man. Yeah, the last name Curry. Look at Curry, man. Curry's the GOAT. He is literally so OP. And with that being said, man, if you guys did get him, if you see in my video, bro, I got him for 60K. I sold him for 68K. And I never would think a pink diamond Eddie Curry would go for over 100,000 MT. So if you could somehow snipe out that card, he's a good investment. This is another good investment. George, I don't know how to say his name. I'm not even, it's like Murasin or Mershawn. I don't know. I don't know his name, but this is going to be a good investment. He's 7-7. If you guys remember what happened to Bowl Bowl, or should I say Manute Bowl? New Bowl was around, I would say, 20. Nah, he was around like 30K when the Super Packs dropped. 40K, 30K, whatever. He was up to 70, 80K literally the next day. So if you guys do know, 
In my opinion, this Georgie, my boy Georgie right here, if you guys didn't see the gameplay, I did drop a gameplay with him. This is a very good investment. Um, he's 7'7", seven, seven, man. Everybody loves this guy. He's just a god. He's so OP. And I would recommend with the max bid. That's why investments are so good, because you could refresh with the max bid. If you could refresh with the max bid, you're going to make so much MT. Now, let's head over to the Ami filter. There's so many investments on the Ami filter. I love the Ami filter. I love sniping on the Ami filter, because this is going to make you so much MT simply. So, let's see. Here we go. Here's the Ami filter. So, I'm trying to think. Spud Webb is a good investment. He was around 1,000 MT. He's up to like 1,700 MT. So, if you did invest in Spud Webb, pretty solid investment. Also, Westbrook, insane investment. If you guys invested in Westbrook for 6K, I think he's up to 9K. I'm not sure. Yeah. So, Westbrook, if you guys do remember my video from about last week, he was down around 6K. He's up to 9K. That's 2,000 profit per. If you picked up 100 at 2,000 profit, you're going to make 200,000 MT clean. So, possibly even more. You can maybe even sell for 9,500 to pick up 2,500 clean. So, completely up to you. This investment right here was so deadly when he was in packs. No longer that good of an investment now. But pretty much, all I'm going to say is, bro, this investment right here, Scott Skiles, Craig Elo, Luke Rindor, all perfect investments. They're all going to be out of pack. It's pretty much, bro, literally, the strategy is literally so easy. It's the easiest strategy. I don't even need to make a video on this. It's literally just so easy. You literally just have to go to look at packs and see what the lowest overall cards is. It's so simple. It's so easy. And not only that, since they're so cheap all the time, since they're so cheap, if you think about it, like you, let's say you just drop buy 20 of them. You lose 40 K for 2 K, right? You buy 40. You literally don't even remember your investments. And then when you sell it all, you're like, holy crap, I made more MT than I thought. But yeah, this investment's obviously good too. I think you could probably get him for 2K. He's going to be slower because the packs are delayed. But tomorrow, there's going to be probably another spotlight garbage sim. With that being said, if there's a spotlight sim, whatever the Amethyst, whatever the Pink Diamond cards are, you definitely want to invest in. Like Paul Silas, if Silas, whatever his name is, he actually did go up a lot of MT. We're going to check out his price right now. He was a good investment. I don't know if he is so far anymore. But we're actually going to try out, see what he's going for, Paul Silas. I think he's like 40k. I don't know, though. We're about to find out. So, yeah, he rose a lot. He was literally around 29k, 30k. He's up to 36,000. Now, if you invested in him, he's a pretty good card. I'm not going to say he's not. He's a 6'7 small forward power forward. You're going to play him at small. He's not good enough for power. But, yeah, 36k, eh, it's kind of expensive. He was a good investment. Eh, eh, eh. Honestly, eh. Um, I do like the Craig Elo though. I do like the Scott Skiles. So we're gonna go over them. Pretty much, bro. This video is based off packs. If there's no packs in the market, there's really not good investments. There's good investments though. If you see prices drop, like dude, Sapphire Minute Bowl was the best investment of all time. If you guys got Sapphire Minute Bowl, you dubbed out big time. If you guys do know, I think Scott Skiles does hold the assist record. If I am right, I don't know. But uh, his pricing is a little weird, which means he's a good investment. I would say get him for 7K. That's a good investment right there. I say he goes up to 10K because honestly, he's not going to be in packs for a while. They're not going to re-release him. The only thing you should be scared of, if you want to invest very, if you want to invest better, they're probably going to keep these cards in packs. Like when do these expire? These expire tomorrow. So what happens is within that hour, they drop the new cards, right? But these cards are usually still in packs. So if you want to invest then, it's going to be a good time to do so because that means... They're only going to be in packs for that hour. You could probably pick up a ton of snipes on that easily during the spotlight sim filter. So let's see. We got the, the Craig Elo. We got the Scott Skiles. We got the Spuddies. We got the Westbrooks. There's just so many. Rodman, dude. Rodman was such a good investment. If you guys did get him, he was going for like 18,000 MT. I don't think he's that much more, but he was still a pretty decent investment if you did invest in him. Let's see. Yeah. So, all right. That's a little profit so far. Let's see what he's up to. Wow, Robin went up a lot. If you guys were getting him for around 18 to 20k, he's not up to 30k. This card was such a good investment. And honestly, I dropped a video on this card. He's so good. This card's really good. Yeah, his jump shot's a little off, but yo, that's really it, yo. That's literally, literally, uh, you can't get better than this. I'm literally just showing you how to invest in cards. It's simple, it's easy, and it's just a great, great tip video. Without further ado, man, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the auction crash. It should be happening soon. It hasn't crashed yet. Start bidding on your cards. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.